Hello, welcome back to my journey to 70.3, can we still call it that? I guess we can, but it's probably going to be a bit longer of a journey than what I thought. Uh, so this is all about how I failed in the swim at the 70.3. Um, just came for a little hit out, there's a bit of a lake just not too far from me, Lake Sampsonville, uh, so we are here, um, yeah, barbecue, picnic, a little bit of shoreline fishing, uh, a little bit goes on but um, yeah, it's a nice little area. Uh, so I thought this would be a good little backdrop to talk about where we feel we went wrong last week. Um, uh, I guess there's, I guess there's a few things. Um, training, so trained a fair bit. It, in my mindset, I did. Uh, whether that was just because I was spending a lot of time away from the family uh, was that training really adding value probably was in the, the bike and the run uh, but probably lacked a little bit in the swim um, swimming is 100% technique uh, over fitness I guess so you still got to be fit but um, yeah there, there'll be there'll be some some people that don't really deem themselves as fit but have got that technique nailed for a swim um, and they would have sailed through on the weekend uh, and 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 they would have um, <coughs> coaching so coaching is an area that I probably lacked uh, so I didn't get to the um, the triathlon club, like I said at the start of this journey, I was going to, so I didn't get to commit to that. Um, time, family, uh, you know, having a pregnant wife makes it pretty, pretty tough. <coughs> um, and two young kids as well, and that guilt factor as well, I guess. Um, what else? Uh, exposure to the ocean so yeah I swam a fair bit in the pool I was you know swimming reasonably well in the pool and you can see where you're going you can keep your head down just keep moving um, so yeah so they're, they're the struggles sighting need to go and see a coach and get some sighting practice I guess um, so yeah so they're the struggles um, 
Let's talk about the successes, so struggles and successes of my journey to 70.3. Even though my journey was uh, 1.9 or 2.6, depending on how you look at it. I'm just going to walk down to the water's edge because there's um, a couple of black swans and some nice birds. But um, Successes. I finished the swim. That is an achievement for me. So I uh, didn't get pulled out of the water early, didn't get tapped on the shoulder. I uh, missed the cutoff by six minutes, but they, they let me finish, which is awesome. Uh, you can see the black swans, the pelican over there, a couple of plovers. It's nice and quiet, eh? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, successes. Um, mental resilience, fortitude. Uh, yep, had to kind of <laughs> get a bit of that this last week. Um, so yesterday was Are You OK Day in Australia. Uh, almost like a national mental health day, checking on everybody. You know, ask, ask the difficult questions. If you feel like somebody's not quite there, you know, reach out and see if they need any support or any help. Um, and yeah, I guess, I guess looking at that, there's a, there's a couple of guys at work, uh, superintendents actually, uh, that have probably, probably helped me the most this week by, you know, highlighting the the failure but turning it into that um, into that banter piece so we've been laughing about it a fair bit this week and it's probably helped me you know drive my mindset after those first few days still had some of those those courageous conversations with a few people and massive thanks to everybody for reaching out because everybody knows that this would have been hurting me but um, uh, yeah, so where, where do we go from here? Um, well, I guess this channel sticks around for a little bit longer. Um, it's, it's probably moved from a wanting to do this now to a need to do it. Um, need to do the Sunshine Coast. I still want to do... Um, still want to do triathlons. Uh, but my mindset's probably now shifted into it. I now need to. So I need to get this monkey off my back. Um, I need to get a coach. Swim coach. Do some open water swimming. Stick to a training regime. Balance that around family. When the third baby comes along, which is... Jess is 36 weeks yesterday, so... Any time. You know, probably in a week two's time. Um... So, so yeah, uh, thanks to everybody, uh, thanks for reaching out, uh, apologies that we didn't quite get it done, it was really going to be a good, um, a good show piece, I got some great footage of the weekend and I was really hoping that it was going to culminate with me coming across the finish line, but it um, wasn't meant to be, um, but when I take something away from, uh, from all of this, uh, there's probably a need to look look inwards about how I approach certain things um, and I'm going to learn a lot more from failing in this swim than what I would have if I'd just jagged it so if I'd came in at 59 minutes yeah it would have been great and we would have been sitting around having a laugh would it have then drove me to go and get a swim coach or understand why it took me 59 minutes or would I have just said oh that took me longer than what I thought so uh, let's look at the positives um, are you okay reach out talk to your mates if somebody seems quiet seems a little bit off are you okay um, and listen and listen to them don't just ask them the question because you feel like you have to ask them uh, I've got a very 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 personal story uh, about mental resilience, mental health, um, reaching out for help, seeking help, professional help, uh, when I've been through some of the dark times in my life. Uh, I'm more than happy to share that with anybody. 
um, but it's not something that I just want to push on anybody it's something that I want people to come and ask me for so if people come and ask me I'm more than willing to um, to let them know how I've dealt with some stuff and if that helps them if that just helps them on one step to to reaching out or speaking to somebody or if that first step of asking me is that first step of reaching out and I've, I've helped them in some way then, then that's where I'm at uh, but other than that thanks guys thanks for watching um yeah enjoyed a couple of beers which is good uh thanks to scotty and jess uh and andy andy came we haven't seen i haven't seen andy for a good couple of years so he came down he's another englishman runs a sub three hour marathon i think from memory uh, yeah very very fit human good northern english lad um he's my new fan though so don't hold that against him um uh, so yes thanks Transition opens in half an hour.